Good morning. This lesson is for fourth and fifth graders for April 25th. And we are starting a new story called The Widow's Offering. All right. So if you have your Bible, I'd like you to turn to the Gospel of Mark. Gospel of Mark and into chapter 12. We'll find chapter 12. And then we're going to be reading verses 38 through 44. So Mark chapter 12 verses 38 through 44. All right, so I will read this aloud and you can follow along with me. As he taught, he said, beware of the scribes, he being Jesus, okay? Beware of the scribes who like to walk around in long robes and to be greeted with respect in marketplaces and to have the best seats in the synagogues and places of honor at banquets. They devour widows' houses and for the sake of appearance say long prayers. They will receive the greater condemnation. He sat down opposite the treasury and watched the crowd putting money into the treasury. Many rich people put in large sums. A poor widow came and put in two small copper coins, which are worth a penny. Then he called his disciples and said to them, Truly I tell you, this poor widow has put in more than all those who are contributing to the treasury. For all of them have contributed out of their abundance. But she, out of her poverty, has put in everything she had, all she had to live on. And that is the reading. Okay, why would Jesus think that the woman's two coins were so important? Right, because she gave all she had. And what was Jesus trying to teach the disciples? Right, it's not what you give, it's how you give it. And small gifts given out of love and trust are big gifts, right? So our story today teaches us that Jesus wants us to have a giving spirit, right? Mm -hmm. But there are other attributes that Jesus wants us to have too. So we're going to do a little scavenger hunt to find out what those are. So you should have received in your Sunday school bags a envelope that has um, today's date on it. And in it should be a clue as to where in your Bible you can find an attribute that Jesus wants us to have. So what I want you to do is look that passage up and let me know what attribute it is talking about. Like what thing about ourselves that it is talking about. Okay, so you can pause the video, look up your two verses, write down what attribute it is, and then come back. All right, so I hope you looked it up. So I'm going to go through the list because everybody got different ones. So if you got Luke chapter 14, verse 11, what we're looking for was humble. Humble kind of means that you're not all like the rich man. Ooh, look at what I gave shouting from the rooftop. You're just, you're humble like the widow was. First Peter 4, Verse 9, so if you have that one, it talks about being hospitable, like welcoming. Colossians 
If you have the Colossians 4, verse 6, it's talking about being gracious. Gracious. If you have Acts chapter 2, verse 46, it's talking about being generous. Generous. If you have Matthew 18, verses 21 through 22, it's talking about being forgiving. If you have 1 John chapter 3, verse 11, it's talking about being loving. If you have Philippians 3, verse 4, it's talking about being rejoicing. Talking about rejoicing, being excited, rejoicing, happy. Um, you might have James chapter 5, verse 7a. It's talking about being patient. Um, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. It's talking about being thankful. And the last one, Matthew chapter 8, verse 13. It's talking about being faithful. So those are all attributes. So Jesus wants us to be humble, hospitable, gracious, generous, forgiving, loving, rejoicing, patient, thankful, and faithful. Phew! Woo -hoo -hoo. That sounds like a lot, a lot to do, doesn't it? But remember, a small act of kindness can make a big, big difference, right? All right. Well, let us say a prayer. Dear God, help me to give to God and to others. Amen. All right. Thank you for being with us this week, and we will see you next week for sure. Bye-bye.